In this video, I'm going to show you guys step by step how to start with YouTube automation and how to make your first money with YouTube. For the people who don't know me, I'm Steffen. I run a few successful YouTube automation channels. I started posting videos to YouTube when I was 13 years old. And at 18 years old, I reached over 100,000 subscribers on my personal brand. And after some time, although I'd made a lot of money with YouTube, I decided to quit my personal brand and start faceless YouTube channels which was the best decision in my life because that allows me to have time freedom because I can outsource everything and it also allows me to scale YouTube to another level because I can run multiple YouTube channels at once. In this video I'm going to take you guys step by step through this whole process of creating and making money with a faceless YouTube channel. This video is going to be a bit longer but it's going to be very very valuable so make sure to watch this video till the end and make sure to take notes so that you don't miss any important information. So first of all, for the people who don't know what a YouTube automation channel is, it's very easy to explain. So what you basically do is you post videos to YouTube where you don't show your face or you don't even have to show your own voice. And the best thing is you don't have to create these videos yourself. And let me show you one of the biggest YouTube automation channels out there. This channel is called Brightside and as we can see here, they are posting videos on random topics and if we click on this video for example and we play it then we can see that no one shows their face throughout this whole video and if I turn on the sound you will hear something very important that you may not miss when creating these videos but I will explain that later on in this video so if I click it on and I play this video you will hear this very important thing but don't let what I said mislead you it's very well possible for you to come across one of these underwater animals during a walk on the as you guys heard this video has a voiceover and that is very important to get your channel monetized at the end but I'll show you everything later on in this video and explain why. So the next example channel is TechSpace. This channel is basically just uploading videos about technology as you can see here and if we click on a video we will see that no one shows their face in these videos as well. So I just clicked on this video and if I play it you will see that no one shows their face and that this video has a voiceover as well. Light. Battery technology has been around for more than two centuries. As you can see, this is a very, very easy business model. And the best is you don't even have to have a lot of money to get started with this. Because you can edit all of these videos yourself and you can create the voiceovers yourself as well. And I'm going to show you everything in this video. So what is the first step to get started with a YouTube automation channel? So the first thing you need to do and which is very important is to choose a niche. This should be something that you are interested in because if you choose a niche that you are not interested in, then it might be that you lose motivation and you stop posting videos to your YouTube channel. And as everyone knows, YouTube automation is not something with which you will get rich with very fast. This takes time, but if you apply the correct strategies, then this can boost the whole process. So the first thing we can do if we want to look for a niche is we can scroll through our homepage and see if we see something important or if we see something like a, a faceless video. Like here, here I directly see this channel creates faceless videos and if I click on it, um, you will see what this video, like how this video is built. Let me just turn on this uh, off the sound here and if I play the video now, you will see that no one shows their face in this whole video and if I turn on the sound you will hear a voiceover again the project ever the crown prince Muhammad so as you can see, this is a Faces YouTube channel. And as we can see, this channel is in the luxury niche. They are creating videos all about luxury items or buildings. But now let's say you can't find any Faces YouTube channels or videos on your YouTube homepage. What you can do then is you can click on this item here and then right click and open a new incognito window. And then you can just open YouTube again and then you will open 
open a YouTube window where you are not logged into any YouTube account. So now YouTube will basically show you trending videos and trending topics. So now we can go through here and we can already see I think this video is a faceless video but i'm not totally sure this looks like a compilation video so compilation videos are not monetized so please don't create compilation videos then we just scroll down and we look if we can find a faceless video like this one will most definitely be a faceless video and this is actually a really really good niche at the moment so if we click on this video then we can just turn on the turn off the sound and then we can scroll through this video and and see that no one shows their face this looks like a compilation video actually but if we turn on the sound we will hear a voiceover let me show you guys that this mother dog carries her wet puppies to safety and then does her best to keep as you can see this video has a voiceover and that is very very important so this channel actually creates videos all about animals as you can see here we don't deserve dogs 100 animals and the sounds they make here lions being iconic for 10 minutes straight all of these videos have voiceovers so this channel actually makes money with these videos the third way how to find a niche is also very easy so let's say for example you are interested in the technology niche then you come to your youtube search bar and type in technology like this and then you search it and then you will already see a lot of videos about technology and here you can just find technology videos like this one future tech for example so this channel actually creates videos about gadgets which is very very smart and this channel probably makes more money than most of these youtube channels you have seen in this video today but let's say you are choosing the animal niche as an example then you need to analyze bigger channels in your niche this means you need to go over the last few videos and look if these videos actually still get views and on this channel it doesn't actually look that good but one video popped off and this video got 800,000 views in two weeks so what we also do then is we sort all of these videos to most popular videos just like that so that we can see how many views we can potentially get in this niche so as we can see here this video has 30 million views this one 27 million views this one 26 million views so now we are going to open a website called social blade so that we can see all of the channels analytics which means we can see how many views this channel pulled in last month so once social blade is open like this then you can go to the youtube channel and just copy the youtube channel name and copy the name inside here and then just search so now we got the result and we can see all of the analytics of this channel we can see that this channel almost pulled in 9 million views last month and let's say this channel made between $2,200 and $35,000 but this all depends on the CPM you get on your videos CPM is basically how much advertisers pay YouTube per thousand views and as we can see here this revenue is calculated of a CPM of 25 cent to four dollars so the animal niche has a pretty low CPM let's use a three dollar CPM for this example to see how much this channel made in the last 30 days so for that we come to a calculator so we type nine million like this I think it's million okay nine million divided by one thousand equals to 9,000 times three. So this channel made about $27,000 only in ad revenue. And the best is this channel owner did not create any of these videos themselves. What they probably did is they outsourced all of these videos for $50 per video. And this channel owner only uploaded 24 videos in the last 30 days. So let's subtract 24 times 50 equals to then this channel made almost $26,000 in 
profit and the channel owner did not even have to work at all. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to create these videos yourself so that you do not have to pay anyone at the beginning and that you can wait until your channel is profitable and then you can start to outsource everything. That's always what I recommend because my first faceless YouTube channel failed because I just outsourced everything. I did not care about how the YouTube analytics were looking. I did not care about anything. I just wanted the videos to get pushed out. And the best thing you can really do is to create these videos yourself, then go into your video analytics, which so many people don't do, and then look what you can do better to improve on future videos to then master creating YouTube videos. And then you will finally create a viral video. But I will show you everything at the end of this video on how to exactly create a viral video and on which factors you should really focus. Okay, so now we chose our niche. Now it's time to create a YouTube channel. What you do for that is you come to the top here and then just click on sign in like that and then create account for personal use like that. And then you just type in your name and everything and create a YouTube account. I'm not going to create a YouTube account now because I think almost everyone knows how to create a YouTube account. For the name, you guys don't really have to stress about getting a really unique name. It is always important that your name is just short and that viewers can easily remember your name. <laughs> What you need now is a logo and a banner, which you can easily do yourself using Canva or Photoshop. Canva is a website where you can easily create a logo and a banner for free. For the banner, you guys should really pay attention to the size of the banner. So what I always recommend is that you come here and then you type in YouTube banner template like this so then you get the size um you this one always worked for me so this first one then you have the correct or this one i'm not sure but then you have the correct size for your banner but if you say okay i'm not that good at designing or anything then you can also buy a banner or let someone else design a banner for you and no you don't need hundreds of dollars to get someone to design a banner for you what you can easily do is you can come to the website fiverr.com and then search youtube like this banner design actually and then you will find thousands of people who can design a banner for you for a bit like even cheap as you can see here 15 dollars this one is a bit more expensive 50 dollars but i would suggest that you just go for a 15 dollar offer because like they really create good banners as well and most of the times i just go for the 15 dollars or 10 dollars offers as well and please don't skip this because this just lets your channel feel and look much more professional and and this means that people are more likely to subscribe to your YouTube channel. But as I said, it doesn't need to be a high-end design. It can just be something very simple. So if you want to add your designs to your YouTube channel, you can come to the channel dashboard and then come to customization and then just come to branding and add your logo and your banner inside here you don't need to really upload a video watermark that's not really that important <laughs> You can also come to the basic info, then you can change your YouTube channel name here. I don't know actually what is this, this is actually new, but then you can here add a description for your YouTube channel. Just write something very short, it always helps your channel to rank higher. For the layout, it's very important to choose a channel trailer and a featured videos for returning subscribers. That will also help you to make your channel look much more professional. For the featured sections, in my opinion, it's much better to add the popular videos at the top just because the most popular videos on your channel are much likely to get new people on your channel to click on these videos than videos that don't have as many views so after the popular videos section you can add the normal video section with the new videos so after you are done with everything here you can come to channel settings here and then you this general is not that important then you come to channel you can choose your country of resonance 
and then you need to choose channel keywords this is really important if you are building a channel that is based on search based traffic but I will explain everything a bit later about that so on this YouTube channel where I'm talking about online business and making money online I have keywords that match my YouTube channel that describe my YouTube channel a bit so these keywords are very important and you need to copy and paste them somewhere else because we are going to need them again so for the advanced video settings I would just suggest to select this video option because otherwise people cannot comment on your videos and that can be pretty irritating because engagement does help a bit to push your video out but it is not the most important thing you need to focus on next up we have this here you just need to verify your youtube channel with your phone number to upload videos longer than 15 minutes to add custom thumbnails and to live stream so just verify your youtube channel otherwise you cannot upload YouTube thumbnails and that is very important but we will get to that in a few minutes so next up we have upload defaults and here you can just add a default subscription that you want to have on every single video so this is very important or not very important but it just makes everything much easier and it will save you so much time because then you don't need to add a new description into every single video every single time when you upload for the video visibility I always just leave it on private and then I schedule the video when I whenever I want to upload the video for the advanced settings I actually didn't do it here but for the category you can choose the category in which you are creating videos in for example for this channel now I am creating videos in the education niche I think but I'm not sure which are the better niches I'm just going to go with the education niche then the video language here I need to choose the video language so then you just choose English but you can choose the video language you are creating videos in then title and description language here I will choose English again this one is like you don't really need this and then hold potential inappropriate comments for review just leave this on because you don't want people swearing in your comments that just won't be nice so just leave this hold potential inappropriate comments for review so for the permissions you don't really need this except if you are hiring a team to create videos then you can add someone as a manager to your channel that means that this person does not have the password of your YouTube channel account but they can upload videos so that's always very nice to have I suggest to make your team editors so that means they can only upload videos but they cannot delete any videos on your YouTube channel and they can also not see the channel's revenue so for the community tab you don't really need this I actually never used this before if you want some swear words or any words you want to block you can just block these words here but you don't really need to do that for the agreements I never used this so um, then you just save and then your channel is optimized <laughs> So once your channel is optimized we need to look for trending video topics and that is very very easy to do actually if you create a channel that is based on viral content so what I always do is I come to bigger YouTube channels in my niche I'm just going to show you guys one example in my niche now if I do it myself I go through multiple YouTube channels and do exactly this what I'm going to do now so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look through these videos and look which videos did very well and then I'm going to make a list of at least 33 video topics so this means I'm going to look through these videos and look which videos performed much better than the other videos for example this video performed better than all of these videos then we scroll down these videos didn't perform that good these this video also didn't perform that good but this video really 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 performed good so just go ahead and copy this video don't just download this 
this video and upload it to your YouTube channel, recreate a video like that, try to make your video even better. Then we just go on, this video also performed very good, this video also performed good, so these videos didn't perform that good, this video again performed really really good, so make sure to recreate this video. But please, please, please recreate the video, be original, don't copy the script or anything because you will get a copyright strike on your videos. Trust me, I made that mistake myself and you don't want to lose a channel. As you can see, these videos also performed good, this one also, and all of these videos are written down on a list and then you recreate these videos. But as I said, don't only do this on one channel. Do this on multiple channels and don't pick any videos that are older than one month because those videos are probably not that trending anymore. So try to go through as many channels as possible and pick the new trending videos and recreate those videos. So now once you have your video topics you need to write a script and I'm going to show you how to write the perfect script right now. Okay so first of all you need an intro in your video. So let's say an intro and this intro needs to be maximum 30 seconds. Make sure to tell the viewer exactly what they are going to see in this video and make sure to add that section of the video at the end of the video so that your audience retention is as high as possible. So let's say the intro needs to be 30 seconds and you need to spoil something interesting that is going to be shown in this video. Then you have the middle part of your video where you just talk about your topic and at the end of the video the end should be very very short. Try to make the end about like 10 seconds long. Don't end the video off by saying this was it with this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. What what what. Just end this video off by saying for example if you created the animal channel just end the video by saying for example click on the video on the screen right now if you want to see the top 10 fastest crocodile attacks for example and then you just end screen that video but I'll show you everything a bit later in this video. So now you probably wonder but where should you get all of the information for the middle part and what you can actually do is you can look at this video for example and rewrite that script into your own words. I don't always recommend that but if you want to do it the fast way then you can do it that way. But please rewrite the script in your own words don't use the same words that are said in this video because you will get a copyright strike on your channel and if you have three copyright strikes then your channel is going to be deleted by YouTube. YouTube forever. So once your script is written down, you need a voiceover. A voiceover can be recorded on your phone because phones have amazing microphones built in. But if you want to record the voiceover on your phone, make sure to record the voiceover under a blanket or something just so that you get a very clear and good sound. But if you want to take it to the next level and you have some money to spend, then definitely go ahead and buy a cheap microphone for yourself because cheap microphones can already make a big difference. So once you have your voiceover, done now it's time to create the video and a video can also be edited on your phone I don't know any video editing softwares for your phone actually but I know that there are many good video editors that you can get in the Apple Play Store no not Apple Play Store in the Apple Store or the Google Play Store some of them cost money some of them don't but they are not that expensive so I think everyone can actually afford to buy a video editing program if you have a laptop or a PC or a MacBook or anything, I just recommend that you go for Premiere Pro or you can go for Final Cut, anything that you feel comfortable with. I use Premiere as you can see here. I've been using Premiere for a very long time so I'm very comfortable with it and by saying it is a very very good editing program. Okay, so now most of you guys probably wonder, but where can I get the content from that I can use in my videos? And that is very easy to explain. So either you are going to use stock footage or you are going to use video clips from other YouTube videos. But there is a risk of getting a copyright strike if you do that. But I will show you a way how you can maybe avoid that. But that's not 100% assured. So the first website for stock footage is called Pexels. You can get a 
lot of free stock footage on Paxels. Let me show you for example if I type in Lion. This website is a bit slower than other websites so I don't really like it so much but if you have very very fast Wi-Fi I don't think it should be a problem. My Wi-Fi is actually not that slow at the moment but as you can see the website is struggling a bit but let us just wait to load. So it finally loaded now and as you guys can see I typed in Lion and if I click for example on this video here let's just wait for it to load as you guys can see this is a very clear image it's actually in video but somehow it doesn't play now but as you guys can see it's a really good quality and you can just download it for free so if I click on this download and then I could just click here and then you will see the the video downloads and everything is for free so the next website which I also really recommend it is also for free is called Pixabay on this website you actually don't find as much as on Paxels in my opinion so I don't really use Pixabay as much but, but you can definitely use it if you don't have the money to buy subscriptions on stock footage websites the best stock footage website I know is Storyblocks as you can see here I have a subscription myself because my team uses it this subscription is about $70 per month but it is worth it like it is really worth it you get so many videos on this website if I type in line for example example you will see now you get so much content and the best thing is you cannot get any copyright strikes on the content you get from Storyblocks or Paxels or Pixabay or Envato Elements which I'm going to show you in a few minutes. So as you can see Storyblocks has a lot of different clips of lions and these clips are also very high quality but as I said Storyblocks does cost $70 per month but it is really worth it like you don't want any copyright strikes on your YouTube channels. The next website I actually use myself as well is Envato Elements. Envato Elements does cost about $30 per month but I'm not totally sure. I'm not actually logged in at the moment but on this website you can also get a lot of stock footage. You can get sound effects, graphic templates, graphics, presentation templates, photos, fonts, add-ons, web, web templates, WordPress, like everything you need to create a very good video and the best is if you have some templates that will make everything much easier to create an insanely good video for you okay but maybe you need content from other youtube videos i'm going to show you guys the best free youtube video downloader now all you basically need to do is you need to go to google and search 4k youtube video downloader and then you come to this link and then you click here and when this website opens you can just click on download and then it downloads and what you basically do then is let's say for example you want to download this video then you just copy the link you come here and then you just paste the link and then it just searches the video for some time and once it's done searching you can download the highest quality of this video that's possible to get so then you just click on download and then it downloads I'm not going to download this now but you understand what I mean <laughs> For an example, I just downloaded a voiceover, so I'm pulling it into here now, and then, okay, like that, now I just need to, uh, okay, like this. So now first, the first thing I have to do is go to new, like I'm showing you everything on Premiere, or, <laughs> yeah, okay, to new, like that, and then here to sequence, and then you just go here, and then like that and then you create a sequence so then you pull in your voiceover this voiceover will have a background song now because it's just a voiceover that I don't know it NASA is famous for its exploration and discovery in space however the agency is also making okay so as you can hear the voiceover so what we now do is basically we listen NASA is famous for its exploration and so now we know NASA okay now like that NASA so that's why I always use Storyblocks, it's so good, like really you will see now how good Storyblocks actually is. This video will probably be a bit longer because like my internet is so slow again. Um, okay, so let's just download this one and uh, this one. So then we just download two clips at once, then we pull this in. 
NASA is famous for its exploration and discovery in space. Like that, maybe. This inside. Oh, sorry. That. Exploration and discovery. Now he's going to. In space. However, the agency is. All in space. Uh, maybe we can use this one. Like you will see, it's just like. A try the whole time so you just um yeah but as you can see it's like actually it's very fast Base. however the agency is also making discoveries under the earth right here on the planet what such is the strange discoveries under the earth right here so now we just look for something when nasa is on earth NASA. Oh. okay no not that um, so now, like, if you don't find any clips, then you will most probably have to download, for example, this video. This is where I took the voiceover from. And let me just show you, I'm not going to download that video now because, it, like, it's good, just going to be um, too big. Like, the video, like, then this video is going to be too long. So let's say this is a video clip out of that video now, okay? Agency is also making discoveries under the earth right here on the Okay, so we say now this clip is um, not from our video, okay? This clip we got from another YouTube video, from this YouTube video. So first of all, what we do is we copy the channel name, okay? Like that, copy. And I would just recommend you guys to not take any videos from this channel because I know this guy and I know that he um, strikes other people that take like uh, clips out of his videos. So don't use clips from his videos. Okay, let's just load this list. Okay, so now here like that. Uh, then we just oops paste this here and then credit like that i think i've already shown you this but like you just do it like that then you make it a bit smaller like this um take it up and to this side and then you can actually even like i like this font like i like to use this font for the credits it always looks good so then you just make sure it's over the whole video. They're also making discoveries under the earth right here on the planet. Like that, okay. And what you can also do to avoid um, copyright strikes is you can zoom in a bit. And then you can... Hurry. Okay, let's just look like this. Flip. You can add a flip. Okay, no, not this one. You can add a flip to the like earth, this. right? Now it's a whole different clip. Like Here on the planet, one of us also making discoveries under the earth. What you can also do is you can add text like under the earth. Like that, that like adds again. It like it adds again, like more value to the clip. And that's what like the rule of fair use like you need to add value okay like that where does it is under the path like this and what you can then do is like maybe like this i learned this from mr beast videos okay um you can just collect there and then voila and then here you can just be at the beginning there mm -hmm. like that and then doesn't this look like Mr. Beast video? Discoveries under the You see? Uh, okay, right. like, this is just something that you can definitely try. And then here at the end, like, these animations, you don't need to do them. But, like, they always look nice. So, that's why I do them sometimes. Here you can also do it like this. And then, like, but Discoveries okay. under the earth, right here on the under Well, it's far too fast. So uh, then, like like I said, you don't have to do these animations, but it just looks uh, right. They you see, it just look it just looks nice. And then for transitions, you don't really need to add any transitions. Like 
It looks NASA like is famous for its exploration and discovery. What I always recommend you guys is that you choose like, let's say for example, you choose video uh, music from here. So then we go to music like Envato Elements has amazing music. So what you can do here is you go to cinematic. Like if you create videos that have like you want this to build like this tension, you know, um, because like if you listen to this song here, NASA is famous for its expo. You see what I mean? Like these songs are just they grab your um, attention. So emotional drama. Um, let's look. Audio jungle. jungle. You see, this is already something like in the direction we want to go in. Audio jungle. Okay, no, that is definitely not. Oops. That was definitely not. But you weren't hit with every. Maybe this. Audio one. jungle. Audio jungle. Very good, very good background music. <laughs> This is good, like, for something a bit more emotional. Uh, I wouldn't use that. Amazing. This is amazing. Like, Envato Elements is amazing for background music. But, like, let's look at this. NASA is famous for its exploration and discovery in space. However, the agency is also making discoveries under the Earth, right here on the planet. One of such is this strange new... Dis right here on the planet, okay. Earth, like that. Oops, 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 oops. I get notifications, I get WhatsApps. <laughs> okay, like this. Planet. One of such is this strange new dis Like that, maybe. Right here on the planet. One of such is this strange new discovery under Antarctica's ice. Okay. And. Arctica. Just like this. Um. Uh, let's look with a lot of ice beyond it's okay uh, not Photoshop like that strange new discovery under Antarctica's ice that changes the way scientists view the planet scientist. Um, okay, let's just use this clip. Like, I don't know if that's if it's like that good, but we can just use it. The ice that changes the way scientists have viewed the planet. You see how fast it actually goes. Like, if you're really in the momentum and you have, like, I recommend you guys to get two screens. I have two screens. And then I can just like look here, then look here, like it's really, really fast. I added like a 10 minute video, I can edit like in a half an hour. So the more you do it, like the faster you will edit at the end. But just let's look at this short thing that we just edited. Um, yeah. NASA is famous for its exploration and discovery in space. However, the agency is also making discoveries under the Earth, right here on the planet. One of such is this strange new discovery under Antarctica's ice that changes the way scientists have viewed the planet. What is NASA? Yeah, okay, so it looks, I think it looks good. Like, what I would recommend to you guys is that you use clips, like, that are under seven seconds long because, all, like, the like um how must i say like the attention a human being gives is like around seven seconds long so if you have um seconds, uh, video clips that are like 10 seconds long like it gets boring so try to have only clips that are under seven seconds try to make them like four seconds long i think that is a very very good length um yeah, that's like what I would recommend. And, um, yeah, try to add text. Sometimes, like, text is also very good. Like, it also grabs the attention again. And then, like, background music is very good as well. And what you can do is, like, you can just check here. Um, for example, like, if you use Premiere and you just want to use basic transitions or something, then you can just check here. Let's check, like, this. Wait. 
um, because the basic transitions also don't look very bad. Like, space why, don't, why wouldn't you want exploration to and discovery in space? Space. However, the agency like is all doesn't look bad. Like you can add sound effects like the swoosh sound effect or something like that. Let me show to you. I have an extension from Atom X. It's really good. Um, I think it's like fifty dollars or some or something. Um, it's really good. Let me just hear you. Um, discovery in space. However, the agency is. Oh, it's like I love it. Like I love the um, this package. Like the best thing about this package is like if you let me show you guys. If I just click on, let's say for example this. Um, thing like which is a really high high quality transition look at this now right here on the planet okay now wait i must render this quickly give me a second nasa is famous for its exploration and discovery in space however the agency is also making discoveries under the earth right here on the planet one of such is this strange it's really a new high discovery quality. it's really a high quality transition and that's what you get from atom x and you get a lot of transitions like and sound effects and everything sound effects is also something i would recommend you guys to add to your videos it's just something that n most people don't do and it just it's it's it just makes your video a lot better Once you are done editing your videos, now you need a thumbnail and for the thumbnails you can just come to bigger channels in your niche and maybe create a similar thumbnail to their thumbnail. Maybe try to make it a bit better. And it's really not that hard as many people think. There are just some things you need to do and then you're actually done. So let's say for example we make a thumbnail for animal channel, like let's say animal fights to look like to find a video idea to make a thumbnail for let's say for example uh let me look sorry i was, I was just thinking now um let's look here okay Maybe this one. So I have another cool website where you can find videos like here, this website, like you will see this here now, YouTube thumbnail image.com. Here you can download thumbnails at a high quality, like at the highest quality possible. You know, why didn't I like here, copy link and then here, paste link like that. And then here you can download the highest quality like that. Okay. So what you do now is you open photoshop like i use photoshop so you can also do this on canva.com i think most of you guys know it let me just uh show it to you guys canva.com like this canva here most of you guys know this and this is like a very good website where you can create thumbnails like i like photoshop a lot and that's why i use it like here are the sizes um for the thumbnail like you can see it here and here you see the sizes just create the thumbnail like that and now we pull in this image like this okay let's let it load like that so now first of all what i'm what i'm going to do is i'm going to make this bigger so the logo of the other channel is not in here anymore okay like this so what we do now is wait let me quickly look at the video title 15 brutal kicks by wild animals okay so what we can add here now maybe is something like this went wrong just something that like sticks out okay so this went wrong like that maybe wait make it a bit bigger Okay, like thumbnails are always like a lot of playing around. So um, for me, it like takes a very long time to create a good thumbnail because I'm not a pro at creating thumbnails. Um, hopefully, like I can add a video of my editor, of my thumbnail designer to show you guys how to really create an amazing thumbnail. So um, let's make this a red. 
Okay, like that, this looks good, I think. It looks good. And then a stroke, a white stroke. Voila, okay, this looks, this looks, I, I like it, I like it. So then we just make it a bit bigger, like that, maybe. Maybe we can move, make this bit bigger, move it over like that. Wow, okay, it actually looks nice. So here, we need to remove the, oh no, it's not, it's not a lot. We need to uh, remove this like that. Okay, wait, like this. Uh, I think it, it it's fine if it looks like that. Just for the just for the thumbnail. Now I think it's fine. So this looks good right now. Okay. So what we need next is we need to go to Google like that. Um, red arrow PNG like that. PNG is always very important. You will see why now. Um, so let's look at a good one. I need, I want to have a really good one. Um, these ones are too... Uh, da, 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 da. I don't know, like man, many of them like just are just straight and I like, I want one that goes like this somehow. Uh, let's look. Uh, this one would be nice, but a little bit thicker. So you see, like, thumbnail is all about, like, finding the right things. Um, so yeah, I'm still looking for something. A good... Ah, uh, here's curved, curved, curved. Let's see, maybe we find something here. So this one could work. Hopefully it's a PNG. So no, this is no PNG. PNG just means that it doesn't have any background. So we won't use this one because it has a white background here and I just don't want that. Just makes us a lot of extra work. Let's look at this one. Uh, it would work, but it just... Okay, let's, let's try this one, okay? We are going to try it now. Like this. How, why is it not putting in? Not a PNG file. Okay, it's another file. I don't know what that is. Um, but yeah, now we have... Sorry, this is actually taking so long now. But it's just like, I want to be real with you guys. And like, I want you guys to know how long it actually takes to create a thumbnail. And it really does take long. Um, yeah, to create a good thumbnail. Okay, let me just pull up something here on this side. Because I have a lot of... Um, I have some good arrows that I can maybe use like here you see um, let's just try and pick this one because I most of the times I use this one so what we can okay this one is too long now oh my god um, what can we do here I don't know okay this one is too long now but what we can do is something Wait, I have a good idea. Something like that. No, it looks bad. It looks bad. Okay, but even like if we make this a bit bigger, like this, this went wrong. And then like it just looks too empty on this side. Um, let's just make a circle or something like that. Um, like this maybe. Da -da. Okay, now it's actually too much red. Maybe we can make this circle like yellow. Oh no, not the text, sorry. Circle yellow. Even white looks okay, to be honest. Like even our green lo also looks good. Okay, but I think yellow will look the best, like this. And then we just add an arrow, like, I'm just going to add a random arrow now. Uh, let's just take this one, I'm going to shorten him inside of here. Okay, never mind, we are just going to leave out the arrow now. But the arrow is always good, like, to use the arrow in the thumbnail. And, like, let me show you guys, I'm going to export this now. Um, like that, and then just, if 
thumbnail like this save and now I have an awesome website for you guys for you guys and the website is called thumbs up point tv and what you can do here is there are old thumbnails here you can pull in your thumbnail and then you can see how your thumbnail is going to look on youtube and i think actually this looks so good actually like i i like it a lot wow <laughs> i didn't think i can create um thumbnails like this it wasn't a lot work but like it looks amazing so yeah on this website you can then see how your thumbnails look on different like here on the web browser on the web browser and like here on the mobile on mobile phones um your original image like it it's a very cool website so you can definitely check this website out thumbs up point tv so there are some things you just need to avoid in your thumbnails and this is basically adding some text here because like youtube has the you know the time of the video always stands here and that's why I always avoid to add text here like that's the number one mistake many people make and then what you can also do is that you don't have like if your background is very white for example like here then it wouldn't make a lot of sense from me to make a white background uh, like make the text white like that because like it wouldn't stick out at all so now because of the um, red text like it sticks out a lot as you can see like you can see from far that this is red text um, like yeah I don't know I like the the colors I like is red and then here green is also very nice um, but then you would take a black stroke um, here yellow is also amazing like it sticks out a lot but again black stroke then and that, then um, here blue is also okay but I don't use it that much um, yellow is also like here orange I mean is also a great color um, but let's stick to red for now so yeah red is uh, is an amazing color and um, you need to try to have as much contrast in the in the thumbnail as possible like between the colors so red and green for example like if this circle was green it like would pop out insanely okay as you can see this is like wow like you can see it from far because contrasty colors like just pop out much more and like i would i would suggest you guys to like use a, a circle and maybe like an arrow or something like if you have an like if you have an arrow like use one if if there's space and it looks good then like definitely use an arrow in your in your thumbnails that's very important and then like oh not very important but it like helps and then don't use too much text like please don't use too much text don't like write your whole title in your thumbnail write something else because people will see your title so no no people will see your thumbnail and then they will see your title on you so make your thumbnail as attention grabbing as possible because if they look at your um, thumbnail and your thumbnail is just bad they won't even look at your title so and with this picture like we can see and lion jumping on a zebra okay and then here it stands this went wrong so then the people will wonder but what ha what happens in this video what went wrong so then they read the title and then like to like 90 percent of the times the people click on the video so this is something like you need to learn to grab a lot of attention with your thumbnails. That's very important. Now we come to one of the last steps, which is uploading videos to YouTube. What you do for that is you come here and then click on create and then upload videos. And then you just select your video files. For example, I'm going to select this video file that I just created to show you guys how to give credits in videos. So then I'm just going to remove this and then I'm going to add, let's say for example, this title but I'm going to change it a bit that is very important just change the title a bit but you don't need to change the title a lot just change it a bit I'm not going to change it now because it does take some time to really find a good title but make sure to change the title a bit and then just copy that and then add it here 
and then the video description make sure to add a good video description with as many keywords as possible what i would suggest you guys is to get vidiq this tool can be used to see keywords of other youtube channels and other youtube videos for example i can see all of the keywords here which are very important i can actually just copy these keywords and add them to my own video i would not recommend to just add these i don't know why i can't like remove that that's weird but you can just copy these tags inside here and once you have these keywords inside here you can use these keywords to write your own description about what your video is I actually just now see that this is an old video description of mine so I don't really use this video description anymore. At my new video descriptions I have a paragraph like this with all of my channel keywords. That also just helps to recommend your own videos or to suggest your own videos. That means if a viewer watches this video and they scroll down more of your videos will show up here and that's a very very secret method or well, not really secret but not many people teach that and it really can make a big difference what you can also do in your video description to get your videos suggested even more is to add video titles here with the video link make sure to convert that link into a bitly link so that it just looks much better and shorter as you can see here then you click on next here you don't need to do anything for now but you can add a card at the end of this video like that maybe so this video is a bit short so that means i cannot add an end screen then you just click next again you see no copyright issues found um, if you get something here then you can know already that your channel is not going to get monetized so you need to use other music because most of the times people have a lot of trouble with copyright music and so that's why i also recommend envato elements or story blocks to get copyright free music so then you just click on next and then just upload it on private like that so now it's almost done almost done so now you come to content and then you can schedule your post to be posted for example um, tomorrow 1 a.m just for an example i'm not going to post this video now but this is what you can do So now you guys probably wonder, but how can you earn money with YouTube automation? I'm only going to name you two methods in this video, how to make money with YouTube, because I'm going to create another video where I explain exactly all of my methods I use to make even more money than most YouTubers do. So the first method to make money with YouTube automation is by getting your channel monetized. And for that, you need your channel to grow to 1000 subscribers and 4000 hours of watch time and once you have achieved that then you can apply for the youtube partner program and then you can add ads into your videos and if you want to make even more money then create videos that are longer than eight minutes because then you can add multiple ad breaks into your video that means that you will make more money the second way how you can make a lot of money with youtube automation is with brand deals so brand deals won't come from the begin on but if your channel is a bit bigger you can charge thousands of dollars to show a product or a service in your video so brand deals are a really good way to make a lot of money with your YouTube channel but if you want to know more about monetizing your YouTube channel correctly then click on this video on the screen right now